Hello Northside parents. Uh, this video I'm going to tell you and show you how to use Schoology, um, which is a, a great uh, program we use here at Northside to help students um, yeah, be prepared for secondary school, uh, to get more familiar with the homework policy here at Northside Christian College, uh, and to yeah do some pre-learning, uh, which I'll tell you a bit more about later. Um, so I'll show you the agenda for um, what will be in this video. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about is uh, logging in to Schoology. Uh, then I'll just go over an overview of, of what uh, it does. And then, yeah, look at how you can use it and um, what our policy is for grade 5, 6 uh, at Northside. So first of all, you should be getting an email uh, anytime soon now uh, with how to uh, log into your account should have your username and password um, so when you click on the link it should open up to something that looks like this um, when it loads there you go uh, and you'll type in the details that it gives you um, so I'm just going to log in as a test account um, so I'll pop in my password now um, the first time you log in it might not uh, know that you're from Northside Christian College so if you click on here and type in Northside Christian College and make sure you click on the one in Victoria because we do have one in there's another one with a similar name in all over the world uh, it's a Christian College and look for the one that says Bandura and when I click on that it's a good idea to click remember my school so then you don't need to find it again and then when you hit login um, it should already be connected with the students that uh, have Schoology so anyone in secondary and now grade 5, 6 Fantastic. So once it comes up, uh, it should be logged in and you can click on this arrow here and uh, select any of your students. So um, this parent just has one child called test student. Uh, so that's what we're viewing right now. Um, so first of all, uh, how to use this program. Um, what you can do is you can click on graded assessments uh, and this is a great place for you to see um, how your child's been going with their homework, uh, any feedback from their teachers um, and yeah whether they need to resubmit something or not. Basically if it says a one next to the homework piece it means that it is satisfactory and if it says a zero it means it's unsatisfactory. So in grade five six um, all of our graded work uh, is in class. We're not using Schoology for graded task work. Um, we're just using it to help them familiarize themselves with the program to get them ready for secondary school. Um, so it's either a pass or a please do it again. Yeah, this is yeah not good enough. So as an example, if they uh, don't submit it at all or just send a smiley face instead of their homework piece, uh, we'll let them, give them a friendly reminder, just let them know they need to resubmit it. Um, so what you can see uh, down here as well is what is overdue, what they have not submitted. So as I just set this child up only a couple of days ago, they would make, missed all of the term two and start of term three activities. So that's understandable. Uh, and you can see down here in the upcoming section with the homework that is for this week, and then we've got some set uh, for the whole term, just this, their regular spelling test each week. So uh, so this one right here is all what's due on um, this Friday and this Sunday. Uh, so yeah, we can click on that and see what they is required of them. So as an example, the students are grade five. So I click on this task work here, and it says coordinates on a map. Um, so when it loads, this is what your child will see, and the task says that they need to watch this video, so they'll click on the link. Uh, and then normally the task work will um, have them to ask them to do something so they can click over here which is uh, submit assignment and they'll upload um, either a screenshot of them, their completed task or maybe it'll ask them to write the answers to some questions. Um, so they'll normally click that there and then the teacher will receive that and be able to give them a mark. Um, so to view your child's uh, results, as I said, you can click on graded assessments and you can have a look at what they've done. So as an example, let's see how uh, test student went with their week three spelling test of this term. Uh, so I can click on that and it'll hide uh, every other child's uh, results that is not your child and just show your own student's result. So um, on this one, to, res to view what my child has submitted, um, I can click on this button here 
and it will pop up and this is what they submitted. So they created a document that had their, spe their spelling words in it. Um, and you can see that um, I've given them some feedback and said, well done. Um, and I've said so they've uh, passed. So that there, there, there is a, as I said before, there was a one next to that task over here. So one, so it meant they don't need to resubmit it. It's A-OK. -okay. Uh, if we click back and we click on the logo, it'll take us back to our home page. And if I click on the tasks work again, and then click on one that has a zero next to it, um, so I might just click on my child again because I don't think that's worked. Uh, that's, sorry, I'll try that one more time. Because it's a test account, it doesn't often work the same as your account would. So I click on graded assessments and assignments, and here's one that's a zero, so they need to resubmit this one, the area and perimeter assessment. Uh, and here, um, I can click on and see what my child did and wonder why they uh, didn't pass this particular activity um, and when it loads I can see that my child um, yeah it didn't do quite the right thing um, and when it fully loads it should pop up yours hopefully should take a lot quicker than mine I think my internet's running a bit slow but they've just sent me a smiley face and not the ask the the task that I asked them to do so um, this one some teachers comment in a in a different way so sometimes the comment might not be there so if you are wondering where the comment is sometimes it's uh, the speech bubbles here so you can see next to it says please resubmit your work um, yeah it was an irrelevant picture and you need to resubmit it um, so yeah so it might be good to just remind your child hey you know let's make sure we do the right work and um, that would be fantastic great so that's basically um, the the bare bones of the the program so um, one of the great ways of why we're using Schoology at the moment is because our research has, has shown um, some of the best ways that students retain information is through um, is through doing uh, tasks called pre-learning tasks so watching a video about something they're going to learn next week and doing work and research about um, let's pretend it's a maths activity and they're learning about um, finding the area of an irregular shape. Um, yeah, so watching a video about how to do that and then doing some practice examples before they come to school the next week, as the research has shown, that's the best way for them to learn. So Schoology is a great way for us to do that so they can do some pre-learning at home and then when they get to school um, we can focus on extending their knowledge rather than just um, reviewing what they should already know. So part of that as well is just um, part of that review process. That's really helpful. Um, some parents um, often are worried about their child using um, too much technology and I definitely agree. Um, the government has come out with um, something called the National Physical Activity Guidelines. Um, so I've just got up here um, the guidelines for children aged from 5 to 17. Uh, and here it says from the national government that they recommend no more than uh, two hours per day on recreational screen time. Uh, so that's talking about you're yeah, watching TV, YouTube, video games, uh, things like that. So no more than two hours of that. Uh, but as, it, as stated here, recreational just means that uh, it doesn't include uh, homework or schoolwork on computers. Um, if you're still uh, worried about your child using technology or maybe you don't have a device at home, um, maybe another option would be just to email your teacher and let them know um, yeah, the limitations or what you'd like and we, I'm sure, can arrange a separate uh, homework program for your child if uh, you don't have the technology available. Um, we, our policy for grade 5, 6 at Northside is to be uh, using... Uh, to do homework uh, between 30 minutes and 45 minutes a night. So if your child's spending more than that um, per night, then yeah, we, we just prefer that your child um, doesn't finish their work and just does what they can in that allotted time. Uh, and if it reaches 45 minutes, yeah, we'd really prefer that they, they'd stop um, and just submit what, whatever they've been able to do in that time. Um, if you want your child to do more than that, then that is absolutely fine. Um, that is your, your choice. So if you'd like that them to have more homework, again, uh, maybe communicate with your teacher about what you'd like your child to um, be doing. 
um, whether that is um, more maths work, we can print that off for them, or yeah, there's easy options like doing more reading, um, using websites like Essential Assessment, so your child knows how to use all these programs that we use at school. They can do that at home, that's fine, or they could bring their homework book home and do some writing, do some information report writing, um, persuasive writing, maybe write you a a an argument of why they believe they shouldn't do so much homework um, or something like that. So that would be a, a good idea of doing that. Um, so I hope that, that video helped. Um, if you have any questions, please uh, email me or, or the other teachers or um, get in contact and we'd love to help you. All right, have a lovely day. Bye.